Now I want to give a, an example of Kramer's rule. And so in order to do this, we're just going to take a matrix. Let's say let A equal, and uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this with a, with a uh, I don't know, a 3x3 three three matrix or a 4x4. Four four. Let's see. We'll do it with a 3x3. Three three. 1, 3, 5. Well, I'm not very good at at, at generating random matrices. So let's switch over to MATLAB. Let's let's generate a random matrix. Um, that'll give us a random uh, four by four matrix. And let's make sure it's full rank, rank of A, and it's it's full rank. So five, two, ten, four. So five, two, ten, four. Uh, one, three, ten, ten. One, three. 10, 10, and 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, 5, 5, 4, and 2, 1, 5, 2, 2, 1, 5, 2. All right, so here is a matrix A, and so we're just going to go ahead and apply Kramer's rule, but in order to do this, uh, well, we got to we gotta so have a whole system, and so let's say uh, X is just going to be X1, X2, X3, X4, and then we have B, and let's say B, and let's just generate that too. Uh, B equals, uh, let's go seal friend uh, 4, uh, 4 by 1. Times ten. Okay, so there's our B eight four three five. So let's do eight four three five. All right, and so how are we going to apply Kramer's rule? Well, let's just start. So x one equals uh, the determinant of. Uh, so that's going to be. Uh, in the first column, so we're going to put a, B in the first column. So, actually, let me just write it this way first. So that's going to be B, A2, A3, A4 over determinant of A. And so that's going to equal um, 8, well, the determinant of. 8, 4, 3, 5, uh, 2, 3, 5, 1. Uh, right there, I'm just taking, I'm just taking this, uh, this column, sticking it in here, right? And now next, we get to take uh, the next column. We get to take this column, whoop, and we stick it in here. And then we'll take, and I'll I'll just write that maybe, uh, and then we'll take the next column uh, uh, here. Let's do that in blue. Take the next column, and we'll stick it in next. Okay. So writing those in then, make sure we know what we're doing. So ten, uh, ten, five, uh, five. And then four ten four two four ten four two, um, and that is the numerator over whoop over uh, determinant of a, which is just five one three two uh, two. Uh, three, five, one, uh, ten, ten, five, five, four, uh, ten, four, two. Okay. So, uh, and again, just for computation purposes, there's no reason to do these determinants by hand. Uh, we'll just switch over to MATLAB here. All right. So we've got a. Again, a is this. B is this, and so then we can just say x1 uh, equals the determinant of 
Um, so let's just construct it. So the, the first the first thing is going to be B, and then we go A, and then we take the uh, the entire thing, comma two. So that's the second the second column, and then we go uh, the third column, and then we go uh, the fourth column, and that'll do it. Um, so the determinant of that over the determinant of A. Um, let's see where we messed up. Oh, we forgot to put our colon in here. Okay, so take the whole column, the full, whole fourth column, and that is going to be x1 is minus 2. So x1, and so that's going to equal minus 2. Okay. All right. So uh, we can keep writing this out then. x2 is going to equal the determinant of uh, a1, b, a3, a4 over uh, the determinant of a. And so uh, let's just switch over to MATLAB and calculate that. Um, let's say x2 equals the determinant of, uh, and then we go a, the first column, and then b in the second column because we're doing b2 or x2, and then we say a colon three, so the third column, and a in the fourth column. Okay, so there we go. Over determinant of a, and we get 1.0909. So equals 1.0909. Uh, continuing this onward, we'll just do it for the rest of them. x3 equals the determinant of a1, a2, b, uh, a4 over determinant of a equals, so we can just uh, x, uh, x3 equals determinant of a, a colon 1, uh, a, a colon 2, um, and now we put b in the third spot, and then a fourth spot, and then over the determinant of A, and we get 2.4545, 2.4545, all right, then finally X4 equals uh, determinant of A1, A2, A3, B, over determinant of A, and we can do that here too. Uh, X4 equals determinant of A1, and we can just go 1 to 3, and that'll do all of them from 1 to 3, and then B in the fourth spot, and then determinant uh, over determinant of A, and we get minus 2.1818, minus 2.1818. All right, so that's that's it. That's how we do it. Um, and we can just we can just double check. We can say a back divide b, and then we can make sure with we just say x1, x2, x3, x4. And sure enough, minus 2, 1.0909, 2.4545, and minus 2.1818. So uh, that's Kramer's rule, uh, and that's how you do it. Um, so that's it.